right. It is August 21, 2018. I, I need to apologize for making a mistake. I want to thank the uh, subscriber or the person who viewed this video, Susan Patterson, for bringing it to my attention. I saw the secure team footage. He does not believe it could be birds either. Um, and she writes, please get your facts straight before uh, mm, I don't even know what that is. Another channel. She's absolutely right. Okay. You know, when we make mistakes, it's hard. You know, and there is not one person on the planet that's perfect. But it is essential that we come out and say, I was wrong, and apologize, especially when you have mistakenly said something about someone else. And I am so sorry. I don't know what it was that made me think that security on this video in particular, MSM explains harp, next red ring. Uh, latest engineered destructive weather event. I posted this July 20th and it was about it was essentially um, about Travis Herzog, I think his name is, a meteorologist in Houston who is claiming this harp next red ring. Well, this anomaly, it was caused by birds out in the early morning for a mosquito buffet. All right. Um, but I did say in this video that I made reference to the amount of views, to the amount of subscribers Secure Team has, the amount of views on this one particular video. And now I can't remember exactly how I phrased it, but I absolutely said that he was kind of promoting this obvious idiocy coming from Travis Herzog. And I think that's his name, but I can't see it because it's too, I, I'm, my vision's going. But I am so sorry, Secure Team 10. I was so wrong. I don't know uh, how I could have heard what I heard when Clearly, you said something very different. Now, what's going on there? I don't know. Um, listening is an art. Nobody is perfect in listening. And the reason why I say this is not to make an excuse for me. But I say these things so that it, it kind of gives somebody else the permission to admit when they're wrong. We make mistakes. But we have to. We have, as humiliating as it is, we've got to come out and say, I was wrong. Okay, I, I was wrong, and I really do apologize. And, you know, it's so funny because we all have the tendency to defend ourselves. So as I was reading this, Susan Patterson's comment, and read the last line and I thought, because very often I do get people who don't listen to what it is I say and they got it so wrong and the what happens is like it immediately kicks in. Oh, you know, you're, you're wanting to defend yourself. You're wanting to be right. And I wasn't. I just wasn't. But you know something, when you get to a point where you've admitted so many times how wrong you've been publicly, that it really gets easier. So I suggest that everybody practice, you know, just trying it for a while, and then you just go, okay, um, it does get easier. But to Susan and to everyone that listened to my video, I just want to apologize. To Secure Team 10, I want to apologize. 
I was very wrong. And many people do not believe me when I say that I respect people who call me out. I respect them. I respect you, Susan. Thank you. And, you know, you didn't even have to, like, slam me and demean me and degrade me. You just called out what I did. So I very much appreciate it. And, um, you know, I should, <laughs> I don't know how many times I've had to do you know, a correction video or I was wrong video in my six years. But I I do it also because there really is nothing more important to me than trust in relationships. And even in the cyber world, you know, I may not have you in my real life, may not know what you look like or whatever, but we have a relationship, so I want trust to be there. That's why I do this. Thank you for listening.